Hello and welcome to this episode of Megabox Mondays. In this video I'm going to have a look at a filament from Treat called Flexibility Orange. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a flexible filament and like its name Flexibility Orange, but let's have a look at the label. And here they say uh, print temperature should be 230 to 250 and bed temperature 80 to 100 and speed 30 to uh, and speed 20 to 30 millimeters per second and cooling should be low. But here they say it's a highly technical flexible material perfect for any situation and that's maybe a question about when flexible filaments are suitable for any situation but uh, here they say it but high very high abrasion and scrut resistance flexibility is a true beer proof 3d print optics with exceptional thermal resistant correct characteristics uh, I'm not sure I'm saying that word right <laughs> a very low hydroscope no need to worry for humidity humidity anymore so I guess they are saying it won't uh, have a stringing issue if it's uh, it's getting old or wet it doesn't uh, absorb uh, moisture easily but you can have a lot uh, you can have more information on treatfilaments.com but let's have a look at the prints so here I printed a Benchy and, and because the part cooling fan is off I I had to I had some issues here in the top part but otherwise uh, here some some issues as well but for most parts this pencil looked pretty good for a flexible filament uh, not uh, not uh, no there is no stringing issues with this print and I often get that with flexible filaments and I can flex this all I want all day long <laughs> it's really tough uh, uh, it's uh, quite quite flexible and um, here's the sample of the material it's, it's like a ninja tech type flexibility <laughs> it's really really flexible um, but the Benzie came out pretty nice I then printed seal lace a lot um, here I had a little bit of like stringing issues you can see the blobs here but, uh, it's not so much and the overhangs came out pretty good here in the arm and um, it's like the other print extremely flexible <laughs> and this is printed out without any infill so it's uh, quite flexible and you can torture this uh, quite quite a lot i think before it breaks <laughs> so so but overall it looked pretty cool and um, i printed this rubber ball <laughs> just to have a bouncing ball <laughs> uh, that came out just fine it's just a small circle it's just a small ball um, I had quite issues with the filament getting tangled in the extruder so I didn't get much um, to show off but here's the last print I did it was my maker coin and here I ran out of filament and um, I had um, had this tangling up in the extruder quite a bit before I, I could get a print so I don't have many many parts to show off most were just like this amount of print so like this one uh, just a small amount of print <laughs> and then it got uh, tangled and, and I had to cancel the print but I got those two prints in a pretty good shape so uh, I guess if you have the Hemera extruder uh, it's gonna handle flexible prints it's gonna handle flexible materials better um, after I printed with this material I got the Hemera extruder and put that on my MK3 printer but at the time I was using just a normal extruder but this would be it for this material flexible uh, 
uh, treat flexibility orange. It was quite fun to battle this filament <laughs> into something that was usable. But I, I got it in the end. But that's uh, something I love about the Mega Boxes. They, they send you all kind of stuff, and you don't always get it right in the first time, and you have to adjust settings on your printer. So that's all good. But this will be it for this episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.